entire day. Yeah, you heard me, only slime. So if you didn't know, Slimatory actually has a slime shop online and also in person too at the mall. But a lot of the slimes are actually themed on food. So basically we are going to be taking a slime and then we are going to be changing that into food and then that is what we're eating. We're not gonna be actually eating the slime. I know it smells really good, but like a lot of people ask, I always say no. Do not eat the slimes. Now let's go pick our breakfast out. So we're at the store right now and we got the whole entire place to ourselves because it's actually closed right now. So technically we would get in trouble, but we're the owners, so. Let me show you all the slimes we have. Like I said, a good majority of them are all themed on food. We got shrimp cocktail right here. It's breakfast. I don't know why I want shrimp cocktail for breakfast. So I'm gonna keep on looking, but we got orange cream fluff. I'm not exactly sure what that would be. Would that be like an orange cream? Ice cream, maybe? We got freaking pretzel bits right here. It's got a little pretzel at the bottom. Look at how cute. Okay, and then we got sour candy fluff over here. We got carrot cake. Oh, I think I might wanna like leave that for later for like dinner. That would be really tasty. I haven't had carrot cake in forever. Okay, we got unicorn party. I don't think that I can eat that. We got pineapple paradise. Monkey banana split. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but it sounds good. We got cotton. We got an OG right here. This one has been here forever. It's cotton candy crunch and it always sells out, guys. We got, what else? Cotton candy fluff. That's like just cotton candy, I guess. We got Shirley Temple and we got mango nada and Napoleon smoothie. Ooh, that one looks good. Okay, I don't know what I want though because this is breakfast and I don't know what I want to eat for breakfast. Now let's choose our slime foods and you have only 10 seconds. Go, go, go. What? I know what I'm getting. Oh, I'm getting this. Well, I wanted to get Saturday's breakfast, but it's sold out. So I'm getting Deli Delight, oh, which is pretty good too. Sandwich. So I wanted the egg, you know, and toast for breakfast. Okay, well, I got pretzel bites. I thought it was pretty Ooh. good for breakfast. And I got orange. I don't know what, honestly. What did I get? Orange crew fluff, whatever that means, Amira. A milkshake? Yeah. Yeah. That. Ice cream? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That sounds great. Oh, wow. All right, I think that's a pretty good fix here, guys. Let's go get our food. Time to turn this slime into some food. I I found this in the, oh, that's backwards, my bad guys. I found this in the freezer aisle. I've never tried these before, so I'm gonna try it today. I'm sure it will be pretty good. And I'm gonna see what my sandwich has. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Okay, let's see what it has. Oh, it has an olive bread, of course. Um, I think it's lettuce, tomato, ham, and cheese. I got this for my breakfast, so I'm gonna be making an orange cream milkshake using these two items. All right, we're gonna first start with our ice cream. And this is super simple. This is a recipe for orange sherbet ice cream. All we have to do is put some orange soda in the ice cream. Not too much. Close it up. And it's done. Check this out. If this doesn't look like the slime, I don't know what will. Oh my goodness. Mm, what? This is the best shake I've ever made. I, I can't believe it. This is amazing. Slimes taste so good. All right, so it's time to put my slime sandwich together. So I'm gonna put lettuce. Well, I put, you know, my bread, my cheese, my ham, and some tomatoes. And last but not least, mayo. And I am done. Mm. Okay, I also melted a bowl of butter and here are my pretzels, pretty simple. I just have to pop these in the oven for like five minutes. I put some salt on them. I don't know how good they're gonna be. They, they seem a little crispy to be completely honest. I don't know if I might've burnt these, but let's try them. Okay, we are all done with our foods. Let's go ahead and judge them. First, we've got the orange creamsicle milkshake Paul has for us here. Looks pretty good, honestly. Good job on that, Paul. It's very simple. I, Thank you. I don't really think it could be a bit more icy. It's it tastes little, delicious. A little watery. I'm gonna have to just trust you on that because I saw you put your finger in it and I don't want to try it. So anyways, then we have the deli sandwich. That looks so cool. It actually looks very similar, but I think they've done a better job with the shape. Oh, totally forgot. Okay, and then we have my pretzels and butter. I think I did a pretty good job. I love that one. It is now time for voting. You can go first. Who do you vote for? My pretzel. Uh, okay, I vote for the sandwich. I'm gonna go with the orange milkshake. <gasps> you could have made something for the slime, like a milkshake or something. I vote for the pretzel. Oh, 
try it. I haven't tried it yet. Let's dip that in there. Hey, my sandwich is pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, you know what? I don't care anyone. My sandwich is delicious. And we are back at the Slavatory store, except this time we are going to be getting our lunches. Oh, However, you know we will be having our eyes closed when we what? decide. I mean, we want to be really deciding, but you're going to, you know, pick your slime, but you have to have your eyes closed. I go first. All right, I got my eyes closed. I'm gonna go, not that one. I'm gonna go this way. Okay, we got the small, smaller slime shell. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, oh, there's a lot of slimes. I don't know. I'm gonna you go like with this chose one. the most empty shell phone. <laughs> this one. Everything, Everything peaked. Woo! That's a good choice. Pizza. My turn. Okay, this is actually more stressful than I thought it would be. I'm gonna go this way, and I'm gonna go for um, something on this big gondola. Hopefully it's edible. All right, we're gonna go with this. Is this edible? Cotton candy fluff? I have to eat cotton candy for, you know what, actually guys? Even though cotton candy is my favorite colors, I actually don't really like cotton candy that much. It's way too sugary, but now I have to eat it for lunch. This is all I get. Go, you to start now, close your eyes. I know what I'm doing. I mean, I don't know what I'm doing. She, she looks like she went straight for what she wanted here. Yeah, did she memorize <laughs> I think so. That's what the pros of going last. Shrimp cocktail! It's a shrimp cocktail and I can't cut it candy. I got an everything pizza for my everything pizza slime. Let's do this. I'm not gonna just make this. I'm also gonna be adding an everything seasoning because it needs everything on it. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Everything pizza. Woo! This is gonna be delicious. All right, so here is my shrimp cocktail slime and here is my actual shrimp cocktail. Okay, so first I'm going to put my shrimp juice in there, a little bit more than my clamato juice. This is gonna be so tasty. I'm gonna put my shrimp in there so it looks all pretty. My tomatoes, smells really good. My onion and cilantro. A little bit of this Tabasco sauce and some of this, I can't pronounce that, some lime. And look at this, how good it turned out. Uh, okay, that might be good, but check this out. I got an everything pizza with everything on it. <laughs> oh, what is this? You burned it. What? That's not burnt. That's how I like my pizza. That's an right? everything burnt pizza. <laughs> no, no way. You know what? Try it first and then laugh about it. Okay. I'm gonna win this one. I just want to show this resemblance between the two. I mean, check this out. We got we got uh, pepperoni as the red ones. We got tomatoes as the red ones. We got little yellow balls as the cheese and green for the peppers. Oh yeah. We got everything pizza over here. Let's go. You forgot to mention one thing. The cheese. No, 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 no. The, no, that one is not everything burnt pizza. This one is everything burnt pizza. Okay, well, it's time for my lunch. I've got the kind candy fluff. Let's play with it really quick. This is actually, I've already played with this one. It's like one of my favorites. It smells so good. Look at that. So pretty. Okay, so this one is just clearly cotton candy, so it's time to make my lunch. I'm done. <laughs> this is my cotton candy. Okay, here's my delicious lunch right here. I prepared it here. Okay, anyways, it's time for voting and judging. Let's go with the shrimp cocktail first. So, she, hers came with the slime and then some shrimps and the lime, but it looks like she ate the shrimp in there. That was really good. You didn't actually eat it. That's clay. Mm -hmm. Oh, it is? Just kidding, I didn't eat it. <laughs> okay, so we've got, oh wow, that's a nice shrimp cocktail. Look at that. Yeah, it took me forever to make. You even got three little shrimps, mm -hmm. but there's no lime. There was a lime in the slime, I saw it. <sighs> well, I squished it in there. <laughs> okay, well, you should have put it on there. Anyways, let's get on to mine. No, no, because I squished my lime in here too. Well, then why do you have shrimps out? Anyways, next we have my cotton candy flour. Here's my cotton candy, pretty simple. Yeah. Uh, actually, I have to say that it smells really good. Yeah, I have to say it's not the right color. I know, but they didn't have the blue cotton candy. They only, this is literally the only cotton candy they had at the store. Yeah, Amira. What, you want me to go in and, and you're criticizing my lime, my lime? You want me to pull out the freaking cotton candy machine and just make it myself? Yeah. Uh, yeah? This would have been a great idea. That's a good idea, Amira. Let's get on the pole. Everything burnt pizza. <laughs> Excuse me. It's an everything pizza. <laughs> well, okay, so you have to make this everything pizza and then you have this everything burnt pizza. Literally burnt. It's like all cold and burnt, Paul. I feel like school cafeterias can make better pizza than this. 
and they can't make good pizza. I feel like Paul can make better noodles than that and he really can't make good noodles. That's true. Okay, it's time for voting. You can go first. I'm gonna choose. That's a tough one. Yeah. I'm gonna have to go with Amira. What? <laughs> you're, you're biased. That's so no, biased. No, I'm not biased. I mean, look at that. It's burnt. It is burnt. Yeah. yeah. I think it's more accurate. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, and this one, like, it's pretty cool. I mean, it smells really nice. She bought cotton candy and put it on a plate. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll vote next. Okay. I vote you, Jay. Yeah. Oh, you wanna try it? It's terrible. I mean, she made a really nice cocktail. Other than that, if she would have put that lime on there, it would have been a no-brainer. I mean, it yeah. was already a no-brainer, but she did a really good job. Let me try that. Thank you. Mm. Yeah, she definitely wins. She's too warm. Let's try a shrimp. <laughs> try a shrimp. It's really good. Here, I'll feed it to you. Want some pop? No, oh, yeah, yeah, I do. Right, hold on. Mm. Wait, is she buying her votes? And now it is time for dinner. This time we're actually gonna be making it ourselves at the DIY slime bar. Jenna will be going first. Mom. Okay, so I got it. I'm gonna make a yogurt parfait with Greek yogurt. So I'm gonna choose white slime and the scent, sweet cream. Okay, so I'm not gonna put coloring because I want vanilla Greek yogurt. I'm gonna put fruits now. Ooh, can I get pineapples? Okay. Orange. These are mangoes. Oh, mangoes. Ooh, some apples, please. I want red apples. And, um, is that honey? Honey? honey comes? Yeah. Definitely put honey on it. And here's my label. It looks so cute. Okay, I'm ready. I'm gonna fish. And I've been here like a countless time. I know exactly what I want. I want a regular sign mm -hmm. with a yellow dye, right. no scent, right. and then I want one sprinkle, and it's this one right here. Yeah, that's right. We're making some macaroni and cheese. Here is mine. Look at that. It looks like macaroni and cheese. So I'm gonna call it macaroni. -ni. Okay, I already know what I want. I'm gonna be making a banana bread. I want cloud fluff. I want banana scent and cake scent. And then I want it to be like a brown, light brown color. That's you what I'm gonna go for here. And then I want banana sprinkles. Okay, yeah, I totally remember all of that. We got banana scent. You forgot the cake scent. Yeah, yeah, the cake scent. I know that. Yellow dye? Yep, actually no. It was brown dye. And then some banana sprinkles. Oh, and these toast sprinkles. We got chunky toast, that's perfect. These two, please. Banana sprinkle and toast. It's all finished. Yay, banana bread. Oh, it smells so good. I love this. Yay! All right, this time it's not gonna be an everything burnt macaroni. All right, my macaronis are gonna be delicious. I got these Cheeto mac and cheese and I'm ready for this. I'm gonna read the instructions and I'm not gonna fail this time. All right, it's simple. It's simple. All I have to do is boil the noodles and then add butter and milk. Easy. I got my noodles all done and now I'm following the directions exactly. I got two tablespoons of butter right here. All you have to do is throw that in there and a quarter cup of milk. And then we're gonna add the cheese powder. And you're done, you got mac and cheese. Here is my dinner, my banana bread. Look at how freaking cool it looks. It smells so good. This is actually like the perfect color. Paul did a really good job on that. Again, I'm having a very simple meal. I got the banana bread already made. It's actually like very close to the same color. I'm just gonna cut some slices out of this and I'm basically done. And here is my yogurt buffet. This is what I made at the slime DIY bar. So let's make my yogurt now. Yogurt, fruits, and honey. Perfect. Okay, first we got Jetta's yogurt buffet. Yeah, looks pretty accurate. Let's look inside the slime. We got vanilla yogurt, it looks like, honeycomb, mango, and pineapple. That's a kind of a weird buffet. Where's the apples though? I ate it. Where's the comb, mom? Well, Amira. Again, I used. You did not get the honeycomb. You only got Let honey. Let me talk. I got honeycomb to represent the honey because there was no honey. Yeah, but you had honeycomb. Okay, well, I forgot it, I guess, too. <laughs> okay, next we have mine. I got banana bread here. Done. And then we have Paul's right here, mac and cheese, and I think Where's he might have eaten yeah. his slime. No, I didn't. Well, then where is it, Paul? It's not here. Okay. Don't well, worry about it. I think Paul ate the slime. Ate it. Stop telling people. Well, there's no slime here, Paul. So we're gonna have to say that you ate the slime. And it's now time for voting. You go first. I have mine. Mira, because that was really Come good. Come on. Okay, I vote for. Uh, I'm gonna have to go with Paul. You're missing apple and honeycomb. You wanna try it? Yeah. Come on. All right, I vote for. That's a tough one. Try I don't it. like either, but I'm gonna have to vote for Amira. Oh, man, I win the challenge. Yeah. 
So my banana bread was nice and simple and everybody likes banana bread.